The Titans drafted a star when they selected A.J. Brown in the 2019 NFL Draft. He brings physicality and playmaking ability to every snap. He has 56 receptions, 881 yards, and 10 touchdowns on the year and has implemented more and more route technique and nuance. He might only be six foot, but he plays with size and aggressiveness. Sometimes I can get him into trouble, but he's a perfect complement to what Tennessee can do in the run game. AJ Brown is a physical player. He isn't afraid of initiating contact and letting corners run with him because he loves to extend at the top of his route to create separation. He'll even search for that contact if they're squatting on his route so that he can use his momentum to push off. You may be looking at this and say, hey, isn't that offensive pass interference? And the answer is yes, it is. But he does have a technique to it. Brown does a good job of using the defender's momentum against them so that it looks like a natural movement of them overshooting his route. He also keeps his arm extension relatively tight to his body so that it looks like his normal running motion. You can see at the top of this route against the Browns, he's actually extending that arm before he makes contact as a way to keep distance between himself and the corner and then uses a smaller push at the top of that arm extension to create separation. That whole movement is very fluid though. His arm pump moves naturally and on the extension of that inside arm, he's making contact and pushing while bringing it through. The same thing happens on this rep against the Colts. He uses the arm closest to the defender to help push them the way they're already going and he syncs it up with his arm pump so that it looks like a natural movement through his cut and the defender has just overplayed it or slipped on the route. These movements are all tight to the defender's frame too. He doesn't get too high or up on the shoulder so it's harder for the refs to see. There is an art behind that push off. While that physicality is great when it works, at times he can get caught up with it. When a defender matches his physicality and plays him hard at the line of scrimmage, he can struggle to get off into his route. So when he tries to separate at the top, it's much harder because the defender is leaning into it. He searches for that contact, but sometimes it's not needed and he'd be better off using the defender's aggressiveness against them. Setting up the defender is something that he's getting more and more proficient in. The nuance in his routes is really starting to stand out with his ability to stem, work zone coverage, and release off the line of scrimmage. He creates separation for himself not through just pure physicality, but through having a plan of attack. Here, AJ Brown uses a quick hop release to get himself closer to the corner right off the snap. This closes the space without the defender feeling threatened and like they have to bail. It's a nice release, but what I love about what Brown did in this play is getting vertical for one step and leaning back into the corner once he's in his route. He knows he got a clean release and the corner is working in trail position. That one step and lean threatens the corner vertically and makes them change their angle to protect deep. It helped create even more separation as that defender's momentum is now going vertically. Brown showed really good understanding of route technique and the situation he was in after beating his guy off the line of scrimmage. That vertical threat is what AJ Brown has been able to tie into his routes more and more. In every route, you want to be able to threaten vertically even if it's a short route. It helps you create space and get the defender moving. On this deep slant, AJ Brown does a great job of that. His initial release pushes the corner outside to create space away from the linebackers, and then he's able to swim inside so that he can break to the slant. He didn't immediately get to his cut and look inside though. He showed great discipline here, keeping his eyes up and running vertically before planning for that slant. You can see even more clearly on the broadcast copy that slight initial stem outside which gets the corner's hips pointed outside. That threat of the outside release is the first portion of the route and helps get the corner in panic mode to protect the potential fade outside. Brown is patient though and stays vertical on his line until the last second where his body and head turn at the same time to prevent any indication to the corner. When he combines some of these route techniques, he gets some really good separation. He can use the stem release that moves the defenders or turns their hips, threaten vertically, and then also use that physicality from earlier if the defender is still running with him. He does a good foot fire stem release outside here to move Marcus Peters off his spot. That creates space and also gives him that inside track he wants so that he can get vertical. When Peters is still right with him, he then uses that physicality and extends his arm during his running motion to create a ton of space on the slam. To take it to the next level, AJ Brown has even started incorporating some of his releases and route techniques as setups on blocking plays. On this play against the Jaguars, AJ Brown runs off the line before throttling down and then bursting to the outside to block his man. That same movement and burst can also be used on a pass route, but now he's shown that look on a running play where he's blocking. Now fast forward a quarter in the game and AJ Brown uses the same mannerisms and release to sell that he's blocking on the play before planting and running a slam. He gets up on the defender, throttles down like he's about to block him like he showed before, and then turns it on for the slant where he creates about three yards of separation. 
It demonstrates a really good understanding of how to play the game within the game and build on the things you've shown earlier to the defense. He'll always use these fake block releases on play action too. The DB is now getting both that run block fake and is reading the run action, which sells Brown's route even more. Keeping the corner guessing works both ways too. Whenever he releases like he's gonna block, the corner now knows that he might run a route. That in turn makes the defender less eager to crash on the run and makes AJ Brown's job blocking them easier. Small little things like that are adding up for AJ Brown and are quickly helping him become one of the better receivers in the league. AJ Brown also does a very good job at trimming his routes and being quarterback friendly by working back to the ball. It's a small thing that isn't necessarily visible or isn't pointed out when you're watching on TV, but it makes a world of difference to keep the defender from getting a hand on the ball and contesting the catch. He's just always, always working back to the ball. While all these little things are great, Brown has also developed a little bit of a drop problem and most of them are concentration drops. When you play physically and you have some contested catches, you've obviously got to be locked in on the ball as well. Brown just has been a little inconsistent there, even with some routine and easy catches that he should make 100% of the time. AJ Brown is well on his way to being a premier receiver in the NFL. He has everything you'd look for and is starting to play like one of the smartest receivers in the game by manipulating his releases, routes, and setting defenders up. He's physical, a great team player, and is a home run waiting to happen. A bright future is ahead for him and the Titans. There's one thing defenders should know when they play Tennessee. The Titans are there to be physical and they're there to assert their will on offense. And if things keep going well and their stars keep shining, they'll be asserting their will all the way to the Super Bowl. Hey guys, make sure to check out the Patreon for weekly game picks, some extra bonus content and video breakdowns every week. There's also early releases for these full breakdowns. You can donate just $1 a month and that gives you access to all of it. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and until next time, I'm Casey Sully, and I'll see you on the next Film Breakdown.